Good morning. Welcome to today's Morning Moxie with Larissa. I wanted to talk to you today about how to cope with cabin fever. I mean, we have been shut down for two months, and I think some of us may be climbing the walls, and by some of us, I mean moi. So how do you know you have cabin fever, right? Especially if you are a solo party of one. Um, and I think that you will find that you are having a lot of weird, vivid dreams. And I'm saying you because I checked and it's not just me. There are other people. And as a matter of fact, there was a uh, news uh, article on that. And it was about, I guess, the mind trying to cope with reality and make things better but I don't know if my dreams are better I know they are weird and they're very vivid so maybe that's what you're having too I know that uh, I've noticed um, extreme grumpiness and it just like comes on like a curtain and again it's not just me I talked to my co-workers and my sister mentioned the same thing that you know there you are you're having a moment and then boom you're having a moment so weird dreams extreme grumpiness and becoming one with the couch and you know we all need a little downtime and it's important that you rest but you don't want to sink into the cushions for the duration right that's not very helpful so what is the body to do so i want to suggest a couple of things number one youtube right there's a video for everything and even if you don't know what you're looking for youtube is going to give you some suggestions and that of course can get you into trouble but what I'm suggesting is that you take the time to learn something new. There are so many informative educational videos. I've learned how to um, improve my Zoom videos, for example. I've learned about how to use a green screen and, um, you know, things like that. But I've also found some really great exercise videos. And I say great because... If they inspire you to keep moving, that makes it a great video, right? So now it's difficult for me to do like a really long video. So I like piecing together a bunch of different short videos that target whatever body part I'm working on or overall. But anyway, there's a lot of great exercise videos. There are a lot of great tutorial videos. So have a look. Um, complete those open projects. You know we all have one or 20, right? Maybe you want to write the next great American novel. Who knows? But... I'm sure there is something on your to-do list that has been gathering dust and has been there way too long. So, productively speaking, dig out that list of someday I'm gonna and make someday today. And then, you know what? I'm going to suggest that you dress for work. Now, if you're paying any kind of attention, you've heard all the horror stories about, say, people who maybe they put on a suit and tie up front, up top. And then they're wearing shorts or boxers on the bottom. I mean, come on. Who is not paying attention? And some of the videos that I've seen, like on the news or talk, not talk shows, I don't watch talk shows, but you know, you catch these little snippets and you just have to shake your head. So whether you're going to be on video or not, though, respect yourself, I'm going to suggest, and that you put on your face, comb your hair, and just look like you're a professional so that you feel like a professional. Sometimes it does make a difference by putting on a little war paint and it helps change the mindset, change the mood, and put you in your workspace. So, you know, I've seen a couple of these uh, late night people and I'm just not understanding why they're not combing their hair. And if they are combing their hair, it looks like they're not combing their hair. So I'm asking you, comb your hair, whether you are on video or not. And you know what else? It's the main thing, take care of yourself. Don't skip meals. Like when I get out in my yard, you know, it, for me, it's like if I'm on, if I'm working on something, if it's like, okay, I'm going to stop and just one more minute, just one more minute or just one more thing. Well, one more thing is like five hours later and I've missed lunch and it's past time for dinner. And by then, we know we're going to get in some kind of trouble. So I'm suggesting that you take care of yourself. Don't skip meals. Get out and take a walk, get some exercise or do some stretches in your living room. Dance. I'm all about dancing in the living room. So make sure that you're taking care of yourselves. Now these are four simple things that I'm sure we've all thought about, but I put them all together in one place for you as a helpful reminder how to deal with cabin fever. This too shall pass. So that's today's Morning Moxie, and this has been Larissa. I will see you on the next video. Ciao.